what will be the value of k given that you have k to the power of 6 equals 2 to the power of 6. Let's have it to the solution. Then from here, we can simplify this as k to the power of 3, all in bracket, to the power of 2, equals 2 to the power of 3, all in bracket, to the power of 2. Because we believe that 2 times 3 will give us 6. 3 times 2 will give us 6. So from here, let's take this, the whole of expression here to the other side. So we are going to have k to the power of 3, all in bracket, to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 3, all in bracket, to the power of 2. Then let's set everything to be equal to 0. This is the difference of 2 squared. Remember when you have a squared minus b squared, this always equals a plus b multiplied by a minus b, all in bracket. So from here, this implies that our k to the power of 3 equals our a, y our b equals 2 to the power of 3. So by plugging it here, we are going to have k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3, all in bracket, again multiplied by k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, all in bracket. Then we set everything to be equal to 0. Then what are we trying to say here is that for this particular expression to be equal to 0, is either we have, let's say case 1, k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. Let's say case 2, k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 will be equal to 0. Then let's deal with case 1 first. We have this to be sum of the 2, 3 cube, sum of the cube. Then when you have this, remember that when you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, always equals as a plus b, all in brackets, then multiply by a square minus a b plus b square as this. So where we have our a to be k, our b to be 2. So this implies we have k plus 2, all in brackets as this. Then a square will be k square minus a b will be 2k plus b square will be 2 square will be 4. Then we set everything to be equals 0. Then what are we trying to say here is that for this particular expression to be equal 0 is either we have k plus 2 equals 0 or we have k square minus 2k plus 4 to be equal 0. And so from the first one, we are going to have our k to be equals minus 2 to be the first real solution. Now, from here, this is a quadratic, and we can apply the quadratic formula as k will be equals minus b, positive or negative, square root of b square minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Then, from here, our a equals the coefficient of x square, which equals our a will be equals 1. Then our b will be the coefficient of k. a is coefficient of k square, which is 1. b, the coefficient of k, which is minus 2. So we have our b to be equals minus 2. Then our c equals for this constant. So therefore, from here, we are going to have k to be equals minus b already. Here will be minus into minus 2, positive or negative, root of minus 2, all in bracket, to the power of 2, then minus 4, multiplied by a is 1, multiplied by c, our c is 4, then all divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Then from here we have k to be equals, minus times minus will be 2, Positive or negative, here will be 4, minus 4 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 4 will be minus 16. 
then all divided by 2. So, from here we have our k to be equals to positive or negative. Root of 4 minus 16 will be minus 12. Then divide by 2. This can be simplified as 2 positive or negative minus 12. Sorry. 12 multiplied by root of minus 1. I'll divide by 2. We have our k to be equals to positive or negative. Root of 12 will give us 2 root 3. Then root of minus 1 equals i in a complex space. Here will be root 3. i divided by 2. So we have our k to be equals. This divided by this will be 1. Positive or negative. This divided by this will only have root 3i. So we also have another solution to be this. But this is a complex solution. But we have the first degree solution to be minus 2 as this. Then let us also recall from case 2. Where we have k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. Difference of 2 cube. But when we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, we only have it to be a minus b all in brackets. Then multiply by a squared plus ab plus b squared. So by applying it here, we realize that we have this to be k minus 2 because our a is k, our b is 2. Here will now be k squared plus 2k plus 4 equals 0. We set everything to be equals 0. Then from here, likewise, for this particular expression to be equals 0, it's either we have k minus 2 equals 0, or we have k squared plus 2k plus 4 to be equals 0. Then from here, we also have second degree solution to be k equals 2. Then from here, we can also get the possible value of k by applying the quadratic formula as k will be equals minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from here, we are going to have our k to be equals, our b equals 2, so here will be minus 2. Then positive or negative root of plus 2, all in bracket to the power of 2, minus 4 multiplied by a is 1, our c is 4. Then all divided by 2. So we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of this will be 4, 4 times 1 times 4 will be minus 16, then all divided by 2. We have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative. Root of 4 minus 16 will be minus 12, again, divided by 2, which equals minus 2, positive or negative. Root of, root of 12 multiplied by root of minus 1. You can simplify this to be equals this, divided by 2. So from here we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative. Root of 12 will be 2 root 3. Root of minus 1 equals i. A complex number divided by 2. So we have k to be equals this divided by this. We have minus 1. Positive or negative. This divided by this, we only have root 3i. Remember, we also have for the case 2, k to be equals 2. Remember also that we have k equals 1, positive or negative, root 3i, as this. And also we have k to be equals minus 2, for this as well. So this k equals minus 1, positive or negative, root 3i, and k equals 1, positive or negative, root 3i, a complex solution. Why k equals 2 and k equals minus 2 is real solution, and you can check for that. So when you have k to the power of 6 to check, 
that equals 2 to the power of 6. Definitely, here will be 2 from here to the power of 6 will be equals 2 to the power of 6. And likewise, from here to when k equals minus 2 will be minus 2 all in bracket to the power of 6. Is it going to give us 2 to the power of 6? But remember that this power is even and this will be positive then 2 to the power of 6 will be equals 2 to the power of 6. If you are new here and you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. Bye-bye.